Okay, uh, today we're going to discuss uh, um, a very unique uh, query that I received that uh, how can we uh, relate pressure to uh, gravity? So uh, let's have a look into this. Uh, now we do know uh, that, uh, let, let me just get my pen, uh, let's scribble, right? Okay, uh, we do know uh, that pressure uh, is uh, actually uh, force uh, over uh, a given area, right? Uh, so uh, let's say if we have an area, right? A certain area, let's call it uh, A, uh, then how much force is acting on it is what we call as the pressure, right? Uh, so uh, in terms of unit, we are going to have uh, newtons, and since we have newtons, then we need to understand uh, that the area must be in meters squares, right? Uh, this is what we uh, represent as uh, pascals, right? So we can say that one uh, newton per meter square uh, is also one pascals, right? Uh, so pascal is, is a, a unit of pressure, uh, which was discovered by the scientist uh, Pascal himself. So uh, now we also know uh, that uh, pressure uh, of a liquid, right? Uh, let's say if we have a liquid column, right? Uh, we have a column in which there is some liquid. So how much pressure this uh, amount of liquid is going to exert at the bottom, right? Uh, on the bottom area. So for that, we need to know uh, the cross-sectional area, right? And uh, we need to know how much amount of uh, fluid is there which uh, we're going to uh, consider as mass and uh, then we need to understand how much uh, volume uh, of liquid is there right and that could be this area and uh, the you know the height uh, of this water column right so if I uh, write the volume of this water I can say that it's the area uh, into the height of this water column and uh, when we say uh, you know, when we consider a uh, mass, we do know that mass is uh, rho into V. So this V is also the volume of this uh, water column. So we can simply uh, consider this V into, uh, you know, uh, this uh, A into H. So M uh, is going to be a rho into A uh, into uh, H, right? Now, uh, this is uh, what we are going to translate the mass of this liquid now we don't know the mass but if you know the density uh, of the liquid uh, the area of uh, you know this water column and the height of the water column then we can simply translate the mass into these three quantities now uh, moving on uh, we want to know the pressure that it is exerting so we do know that pressure is uh, force over area and uh, for a uh, force I mean uh, since this is mass so every mass uh, has a weight so weight is also a force and we do know that uh, weight is m into g so uh, let's put p is equal to uh, you know uh, equal to weight so let's put a w over here it's going to be weight over area the weight of this water column uh, and uh, uh, over this area at the bottom so we can say uh, that we're, we're actually trying to drive uh, a relationship over here right so pressure we can say that it is going to be the mg over uh, area and we we just uh, you know uh, made this relationship over here right here so we're going to say that if we uh, say this then we can replace this mass by a rho uh, into area into the height of the water column divided by uh, you know uh, the area right so uh, and multiplied by the G which is already there right this one so uh, we can cross off this a so what we do uh, get in the end is a rho g h. So for any uh, given uh, uh, you know water column, we can say that the pressure can be related to gravity in a way that uh, it is the density of that object uh, into the height of that object, especially for the case of fluids, right? So the area is uh, no more of any effect, right? So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's say. If you have two uh, uh, containers, let's say one is this large area, right? Uh, let me make this cylinder. And we have another uh, smaller uh, area cylinder, right? Now, considerably the height is the same for both of them. Let's say that the height uh, for both 
is same so uh, this is a1 and this is uh, a2 right so what is the pressure uh, p1 is p1 b equal to p2 right D uh, is it going to be the same yes uh, it is going to be same right uh, i just made a double s just let me <laughs> remove that out of excitement i guess all right uh, so yes uh, it is going to be same yes p1 will be equal to p2 because from this equation uh, we know that uh, p is independent of area now right and this is uh, what we get in terms of pressure of a liquid uh, in a column right so yes pressure can be related to gravity and we can say uh, that uh, the pressure is is uh, related directly proportional uh, to gravity the greater the gravity let's say if i take these two cylinders uh, or either one of them uh, to let's say uh, jupiter which has uh, far more gravity than earth then the pressure of the same liquid the same uh, uh, sorry i just had to yeah uh, of the same density i mean even even though the density is going to be the same uh, for for the liquid let's say if there is a liquid uh, over here right there's some liquid in this so if i take this uh, test tube uh, to jupiter it is going to have this uh, higher pressure compared to earth so uh, pressure on uh, jupiter is going to be greater than pressure on earth why because uh, gravity uh, is going to change uh, the, the pressure that is being exerted by this water column uh, although the density and height are being constant and if we put those as constants let's say if we call this as c a constant uh, being uh, over here and also height as a constant so we can sum up these uh, constants and we can simply say that p is proportional to g so yes uh, pressure is uh, related to gravity and it's a direct relationship uh, i hope uh, this satisfies uh, your query uh, if not uh, leave you you know uh, your uh, you know uh, suggestions or comments in uh, in the comment section and i'll try to respond as quickly as possible thank you